Oh, look who's lucky. I'm Tanner Monkey. Let's get funky with Mari's Room. This is the game that was made before Ants Are Not. So I am recording these backwards. Let's get into it. As uh, you probably seen like 30 minutes I ago. I didn't want to come back. Why would I? After all that's happened. Even in here. So. Where is the journal? Be nice up here. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Sis. No, that's her parents' room. Ah, this is Mari's room. Oh, this is... Oh, Bumble. That is a rat. Here's her jar. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you... I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. What? Wait. What happened? Sometimes it got so hot, this thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones' swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. What night? Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Come and tell me what to do. La La Land. La La. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Ah, I can't take a screenshot. What the? What happened? Something's happened. I don't know what's happened. Oh, over here. The journal. Last hope. insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Huh? Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. Trevor's phone number. He called her. I knew he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. In back. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be until Marie showed up. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, 
I was losing my glamour status at school right there. A uh, case. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Huh. What could possibly... I don't know that either. Crap, this is going to look. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy. For her. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it, and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Oh, so Disgusting, but cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Huh. I feel like you really hate Murray. It's, it's just a hunch, of course. But it really seems like you hate Murray. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Final? Record player. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. No, no, that's gonna give me a copyright strike. No. Oh. Let's just hope I didn't screw myself over. Mr. Torres loved that beer. After the robbery, he only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. So far, Marie's journal is looking... Quite... She once asked me, don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Huh? I'm huh? not a shadow person. <laughs> yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. It's starting to seem like a sad story. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever, and the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. She Ooh. asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck. And suggested I deal again. How much that journal? That's a 
Hatcher. I loved skinny dipping, but Marie insisted on wearing this thing. Really, I mean, it was Mr. Jones's pool. After dark, no one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. It's just orange peels on the bed. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. White. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Pots. I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Uh, oh no, does that mean it came from like drug dealing or something? So that ain't good. Obviously, of course. Rubik's hated that thing. That's all you gotta say about it. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Okay, th this guy is just a creep. At this point. The, the class the classic nerd trope having Einstein on your wall finder ah uh, yes the science project oh god I already played well, this people they chose to pair me with the girl from food rescue outrageous but I gotta I didn't like that she kept the stone why did she have to be reminded I told her I was sorry but she said it was for me to remind me. Smoking okay, Joe. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. Anything else? Uh, that is. Sparkly. He had money, you see? He bought me things. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Ah, uh, the whole not knowing where money came from thing. Every Tuesday, the food Suspicious. trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Wait. Sounds like major neglect. Wait, case. I need to find... Um, let me read your journal. Um, I uh, I ain't got nothing. Ah, uh. What would the password be? Lorraine, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My oh. mother 
She might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. All right, we trauma dump it. Lorraine? So, what? Possible. Or. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Hold on. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I'm I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Looking at, uh, Never thought I'd see Marie QR there. Code. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Oh, it's literally just a thank you for playing the game. Literally it. Just a th thanks. Thank you for playing our game. And thank you for risking getting hacked over this. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house not long after we met at food rescue he was stabbed almost died she was knocked out with a baseball bat she was in the hospital for a while stitches concussion she still had headaches she said oh that's not good at all she was my friend and I had to tell her so I came back here, throwing stones at the window, but she didn't react, so I threw a bigger stone oh, God. and it shattered the glass. She kept the stone as a souvenir to remind her not to trust me ever again. Right here. What do we have now? Okay, so we have this whole page, this whole thing, this whole one, except for up here. There's a lot of blank space right there. Got this page. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, I still need one more thing. Oh, wait. That's just, there's two pages of each chapter. Don't need a few more things though. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. <laughs> Her. The weird kid talked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants to be boring? Dang. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. That was a nasty knife wound. Talking, you're talking like this is just normal. Then again, it, it did happen in the past. What else could I add to the journal? I see nothing. I look up, I look down, I look all around. Look over here. Here, no. Team badge, fake helmets. Shot. Oh shit, it, it really was. 
is this? Kitty. Anyways, let's see what you be look. Oh, that's one a One day, I just had to know. What's up with all the cats? She said she admired them. That they were who they were without any pretense. That they had no fear of confrontation. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Right. Um, yes. When Bumblebee no. went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. No. Poor Bumblebee. That Why bastard. does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Hi, Marie. Brings me to hear that, that this is how you feel. But I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. I understand you are alarmed and feel unsafe, but Trevor has not broken any school laws, nor has he hurt anyone. I would like to invite you and Trevor into my office, see if we can start up a conversation between the two of you. Let me know when you are ready to talk. You know where to find me. This... Okay, I just found out. It's suicide. It's... Yep. Oh, no. Oh, my Why God. Why you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. It was an we obvious never should have gone stalker, to the Orange Grove. Too. A stalker when they just did nothing. Mm. Crap. What's the case? What is the code, Marie? Wait. The journal. It must be in the journal. Alright, Marie's journal. Got it. Um... Is the code, one, Marie? Wait. The journal. Five. Nine. What is the code, Marie? Is the code, Marie? Wait. The Yay! Good work, Kelsey. Oh, oh my, god. my god. It's a whole gun. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. 
I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it, so I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool. And he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration. No, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it, she screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her, she screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. Oh. That we all remember. He's dead. That... It was messed up, dude. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Anna Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Fine. Hey. I got the journal. I remembered the past, alright? <clears throat> oh. 
Well, that was it for Padre's room. Whoever the creators of these games are, Marie's room, answer not. I I have to I have to commend you. You hear that? I'm clapping. You make this nostalgia story, this wholesome story, go into one of the most weird stories. Of course, answer not. I'm sorry, I just didn't like the ending. But, but it got progressively better. Like, there was an actual story. And that was perfect. So, I commend you. Give, give them a round of applause, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Marie's room. Goodbye. Oh, you made it to the end. I bet you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and hey, comment maybe. Share this with a friend. Who knows? Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye.